tell y'all a bit about myself. My name's Puck, but my friends call me the Love Doctor. <laughs> well, I guess I should tell y'all a bit, a little story. It all happened about three weeks ago in a little in a little high school in the TDSB. An awful one at that called like Northern no North Toronto or something like that. <laughs> the midterm report card stress was just wrapping up, and all the kids were looking forward to that. Va magical Valentine's Day dance. My dear, I thank it. Brought me to thy sound. But why and kindly did thou leave me so? Why should I stay? Who doth love press to go? What love could press Lizzie from my side? <laughs> <sighs> Infatuation. That's Lizzie and Mia, the school's hottest couple. Everyone thinks they're just the cutest. Well, everyone except for Mia's daddy, Oberon. The type of father who's, who's always emailing and calling his daughter's teachers. And you already know, he's never missed a parent-teacher interview. <laughs> My daughter is a gift to the world. And she deserves only the best partner in her life. The fool Lizzie certainly does not meet my satisfaction. A prime example of someone who does is none other than... Demi! Er, well... Me to be more precise. Relent, sweet Mia, and Lizzie yield thy crazed title to my certain right. She is the only girl for me. Her and I would be perfect together. First, she just has to accept that I am... exist. Uh, but that's a minor setback in the whole operation, which has certainly come a long way. However, Mia's mommy, Titania, is the opposite of Oberon. I've already told Mia that she can date whoever she wants to date, no matter what her father says. But it's your shame for her to miss out on her soulmate just because Oberon doesn't like the kid. Just to keep everyone all caught up, Lizzie likes Mia, Mia likes Lizzie, Demi likes Mia, and Mia doesn't like Demi. <laughs> and then there's Lena. She call me fair, that fair again and say. Demi loves her fair, oh happy fair. Her eyes are low stars, her tongue sweet air, more turnable as a leper's ear. When oh, Lena's green, when Hawthorne does appear. Oh, teach me how you look and with what art you sway the motion of Danny's heart. Or really of anyone's heart. Poor Lena. Lena's also Mia's best friend, so she's been constantly been putting up with Demi's liking for Mia. Well, she has been liking Demi since senior kindergarten. Well, it wasn't just a simple crush. I would call it almost obsessive. I get it! Okay, one time she punched me in the face and it was awesome. <laughs> 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 That's what we fairies like to call kind of creepy. <laughs> I should get on with the story before the air is filled with hormones. It all started when Mia got home one day. Mia! Oh no. Is this about my most recent math test? I'm telling you, 95 is still a good mark. <laughs> Mia, that is the least of my concerns right now. I found this on your Instagram. What? How do you even follow me? I've got to like, like eight different accounts. Mia, you really ought to change your password from I hate my dad 8575. <laughs> so, who's in this picture with you? The most recent one. That's just my uh, friend. Friend. Huh, you do too you do you too do seem to be acting rather friendly in that photo. Well, you know, Valentine's Day's coming up and everyone's super excited about that. I guess we just got a bit away and I totally regret it. Well, it would make sense for you to post something you totally regret all over the internet, right? Fine. <laughs> That's Lizzie. What? How could you lie behind my back like that? Not again with this Bia. Mia, you know how I feel about you being in relationships with other girls. Do you realize how wrong that is? Mia, there are plenty of other guys out there for you. Well, if you love him so much, why don't you just date him yourself? Because that would be really weird, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Mia, there is no way you could ever possibly like someone like that. This again? And I can assure you, if I ever see you with that Lizzie again, your life will be miserable. No, no, That's no. right, the next person I see you with better not be Lizzie or else. What's wrong? What do you think? Oh, don't listen to him, Mia. Your father just has a... Strange way of showing he loves you. Besides, what could he possibly do to separate you and Lizzie? Yes. Yeah, this is your dad we're talking about. He's the guy who screamed his head off at that horrible horror movie we saw last month. 
Last time I checked, Shrek the Third is not a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> you tell that to your father. <laughs> anyway, is there anything you need? Well, I guess I'm alone time of the night. The last thing I want right now is for someone to fuss over me. Ray! <clears throat> What's wrong? I do entreat your grace to pardon me. I don't know what you'll do if I ask you this, but I beseech your grace that I may know the worst that may befall me in this case. If I continue to date Lizzie, I mean, isn't it obvious? What do you mean? Well, if you just tell your parents that you won't stop dating Lizzie. Either to, to die to death oh, or... Tony! <coughs> you're being a bit dramatic. <laughs> Let me finish. Either to die to death or to endure forever from the society of men and women. <laughs> I'll never be able to date again? That's right. Therefore, fear Mia. Question your desires. Know of your youth. Examine well your blood. Whether you yield not to your parents' choice, and endure the life of a nun. For I, to be in the shady cloisters near to live bar and sister all your life, chanting fate hymns, the cold, and fruitless moon. No, 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 no! I can't live the rest of my life as a nun. <laughs> Who else is there to date? There is Demi. I'm sure she likes me too, so... <laughs> I mean, you don't have to start dating Demi. Uh, but you just said that I should... There are plenty of other options. Like? Like? Um, <laughs> nuns aren't so bad and abstinence is great. <laughs> you, um, could run away together. Run away? Yes, you could take Lizzie and escape the parents by escaping the city. Take Lizzie and run away together. That only happens in Shakespeare plays. <laughs> There's no way Lizzie would ever say yes to leaving Toronto. Please give it a try. I'll give it a shot. Go. <laughs> hey. Wanna run away together? Sure. Why not? <laughs> supposed to be home an hour ago. I don't know. Did the school call? No. Did she text you? No. She didn't say anything at all. You think I wouldn't tell you if I knew. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. Besides, we are going to find anything out just standing here. Demi, how lovely Hi. it is to see you. Hi, Mr. Hanson. Please, you know you can call me Sir Oberon Edward Hanson III, Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> Since when are you a lawyer? <laughs> Anyways, um, I was just wondering, what, what brings you here? Well, um, I wanted to talk to you about Mia. Do you know where she is? Oh, no! Oh, uh, yeah, uh, she, I'm sure she's fine. It's just... Spit it out, Demi? How bad could it possibly be? Oh, well... Um, she ran away. Oh, my God. I'm sure she's fine. Lena knows 
where she is. She'll take me to her. Is she alone? Well! She's with Lizzie. Of course she is. <laughs> Don't worry about that now. We should focus on finding her first. I should probably get going, but I'll hopefully see you soon. Well, we can find her, but she's with that Lizzie again. Oh, are you seriously worried about that right now? Our daughter is missing. Could be dead for all we know. And you're worried about her and Lizzie? Now you get it precisely. <laughs> Fine. You stay here and do whatever it is you do, since you don't seem to care that our daughter could be in great danger. So Tanya, I think you're overreacting to this whole situation. We can always just have another daughter. <laughs> Yeesh. Women these days. <laughs> Whoa! Where did you people come from? Well, I might as well put you to good use then. Anyone have any ideas of what I should do about my daughter dating someone I don't want her to date? You there, any ideas? No one likes you. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Uh, anyone else, any ideas? Kill her! <laughs> well, I, yes. I would kill Lizzie, but that would be a tad too messy for my liking. Oh! I've got it. I know a bank where the wild thyme blows, where oxlips and the nodding violet grows. Over canopy, by luscious woodbine, with musk rose and elgin thyme. And there the snake sheds her enameled skin, weed wide enough to wrap a fairy in. And with the juice, puck can streak her eyes and make her full of hateful fantasies. Even if it <sighs> affects me to care. Her love may prove... Sorry, this Shakespeare stuff's pretty hard, right? <laughs> Jeez, man. It might require a call on the phone. Hello? Ah, just the man I was looking for. Hey! I got a new phone, who's this? <laughs> it's, um... Oberon. No, don't know an Oberon. Puck, stop messing around. We worked together like six months ago. I think I remembered every person I've worked with. You called me the, um, love making machine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. What's up, Daddy? What you need? <laughs> Call me that. <laughs> Anyways, do you still have that um that love potion you advertised last spring? Yeah, I'm never out of those. Best seller right there. Really? Um, how do they work? Well, when someone eats my patented and sleep cookie, they instantly <laughs> fall asleep. I then spray their eyes with my love potion. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're saying is the first thing you see when you wake up, you instantly fall in love with? Yeah, that's right. Would you set my daughter up with that in, in secret? The thing pops, but uh, it's gonna cost you. You can have whatever you want, Puck. Just make sure my daughter ends up falling out of love with Lizzie. You know the both, right? Uh, yeah, we'll be all good, Obi. All right, I'm, I'm trusting you, Puck. Don't mess this up. Don't worry, Daddy. And don't <laughs> call me that. That's the vlog. Can I talk to you for a second? 
life wanting her to date someone you want her to date. I've turned away all of the really bad ones, the crack addicts, that serial killer ones, and you reject Lizzie just because she's a girl. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Right, Obi. Either accept your daughter's love or face the music. <laughs> Fine! <laughs> Mia, I'm sorry. You can date whoever you want to date, and I'll see you at home. Well, now that we're all happy, who's up for some snacks? Demi, this isn't an episode of the Backyardigans. <laughs> If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended. That we have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. And this weekend idol theme, no more yielding but a dream. Well, that brings our story to an end. Mimi and Lizzie went to Mia's every Friday night for pizza, supplied by Titania and Oberon. Lena and Demi continued to date even after the few effects of the portion, potion had worn off. The two, the two continued to date throughout the summer and even further into the future. And as for me, I went back to what I did best, making kids fall in love. Well, don't tell him about that though, super DL my guy. And if my lit piece of literature offended you in any way, imagine it was all part of one crazy midsummer night's dream.